What is the best way to impress an interviewer in a remote setting? We, we spoke about that a little bit as well. Yeah, we touched on it. And it is a difficult thing because I think it's difficult to get your personality across. Um, it's not, it's not hard, like it's not completely hard to get, the, get it across, but it can be a little bit harder than face-to-face. -face. But I think just doing everything you would do for a face-to-face -face interview, being prepared um, and being confident and not being too nervous about it. I think if you are nervous or somebody who gets nervous before an interview, yes. almost, almost if, if, if you find you're stumbling over your words, actually stop the interview for a minute and just say, I'm really sorry, I actually, I'm quite nervous. I really want right. to um, I'm just gonna take a glass of water get my head together again and let's start again, as opposed to continually stumbling and stumbling and stumbling. And I think the, interview, the interviewer will expect for you to be, to be nervous. You know what I mean? I mean, that's natural. Um, that's, and I think that's the more you practice these things, the more confident you get in actually answering your, your questions. And I think it's just important to, to really, whatever it is that gets you going, so maybe go for a run beforehand. For me, it's definitely having a strong cup of coffee before I do anything. <laughs> Um, you know, ensure that you're fully upbeat, you're with it, you're not going to be distracted, put your phone away, all of, all of those things.